Hi good people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Robertina in case you are new here today I want to share with you a cleaning video it's been a moment since we did a cleaning video and today we are going to be doing a whole kitchen cleaning I have a small kitchen and I will show you how I will do an entire deep clean of this uh, small kitchen and I hope that you will enjoy the video from the beginning up until the end if you do not have some snacks be sure you grab a few because this is going to be a bit longer video than usual because we are going to be doing an entire cleaning and that means deep cleaning every single item in this kitchen so first i will begin by uh, taking everything outside i realized that i have some space outside uh, the kitchen and i could use that to help me do this uh this entire job yeah so uh, you will see shortly I will remove everything take it outside and then I will start by cleaning the inside of the kitchen that is the walls the cabinets make sure everything is spotless uh, I'm also going to be deep cleaning the sink and under the sink air yeah, and I'm and I hope that you're going to really love this video if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're in the premiere gang thank you so very much for coming by make sure you stick around up until the end if you are able to please share this video so that more people can join in on the fun and if you're just watching later on you can as well share this video and I will really appreciate that support from you all right so um, I hope you'll enjoy the video and um, if you have a comment leave it down below if you are new here make sure you subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so very much for coming back yeah as you can see this is this is the space that I'm talking about there's a time back when I did a decluttering of this space I did a video it is actually on my youtube channel right now you can go and check it out and as you can see I have done a really good job trying to maintain a clutter free backyard space all right so let's get the let's get this going i hope you will enjoy and if you have any question be sure to ask me my kitchen is really simple i do not have a lot of smart gadgets or storage jars and all that but that is something that i'm working on towards maybe the beginning of next year but for now this is what i'm working with it works and it is effective and i'm happy and that is what matters so right here i'm only showing you the condition of the kitchen before the whole cleaning process begins uh, this is everywhere this is how my kitchen usually looks like on a normal day-to-day -day basis so i want to clean this up and transform it probably i will do some rearrangement i don't know but uh, that will happen and uh, we will see all right so i have this cooker i have this sticker on my cooker i don't want to remove it because i feel like it will leaves uh, an ugly look yeah but uh, that is something that we work on on a different date i also want to deep clean the cook as you can see down there there's a lot of dirt some grease build up so i will take care of that shortly do not worry about it yes and one thing i want to mention about my cooker i cannot use it to bake because a while back i opened it up i opened everything up and started and cleaned everything inside uh, some rats actually got inside here and destroyed the there's an insulator portion of the of the cooker but i ended up removing it so now i cannot use it to bake otherwise the heater will, the the cooker will be very extremely extremely hot because it doesn't have the insulation part uh, that makes uh, you know baking a smooth process so that's basically why i do not bake yeah i usually buy my cakes and anything else that needs to be cooked uh, using the oven i do it using the jiko or my or the other the normal cookers So 
now I'm moving uh, the fridge outside. I want to be really careful with this. I also wanted to come here and tell you guys that whenever you decide to move your fridge, get someone to help you or be really, really careful with it. Don't push it in a hurry. As you can see, this video is actually time lapsed. So I was moving really slowly with it. And eventually I got it to its uh, safe and right position where it's not, you know, like uh, on the way or disturbing me as I do the rest of the cleaning. And also I had not removed everything from inside the fridge. So I needed to also be careful with that. But yeah, that is just something that I wanted to quickly say. Smile, that's why all your valid wins Enjoy the ride, got some pillows in the Chevy Yeah, so at this point everything is already outside the the fridge the cooker my white cupboard uh, the small jikos and this is the floor uh, this was under the fridge you can see it is very dirty but under the cooker which is right here is not very dirty because i used to clean it uh, at least every week yeah so everything is outside what is left is the utensils i need to also take them outside and wash whatever is left in the sink before i start cleaning up the entire area
artificial love Artificial love So the weather today is really nice and that's why I chose this particular day to do the cleaning uh, so when I put things outside there is no risk of them being rained on by the time I am done so even if the weather changes I'm sure I will be done it's around 2 p.m. it's on a Saturday my kids are in the daycare and I'm taking this afternoon time to do this cleaning it is actually from 2 p.m that's when i am doing this and as you can see those that is everything i will need to wipe those down as well i'll need to wipe down the fridge and the cooker yes so i'm going to be using the Safisha all-purpose uh, disinfectant in the lavender flavor so you really need to use just a little bit of this uh, they have instructions on how to use it you just need to dilute uh, it on a 1 to 30 ratio that is 2 tablespoons or 30 mils to 180 850 mils of water or just one bottle the, the the cup to one liter of water that's how i usually do it and i mostly use it for the floors it is a bit strong in terms of scent so i use it on the floors and in the sinks all right so i'm also going to be using the toss uh detergent the white one i usually use the blue one but this time around i found the white one which is also really good and i will have this uh, fabric softener for fragrance yeah and that's it those are the ingredients or the washing products the cleaning products that i'm going to be using just know that you don't need to have uh, those many expensive cleaning products if your budget cannot allow if your budget cannot allow it don't pressure yourself use what you have and that's what i'm doing uh, previously i would have used uh, some window cleaners and all that but i'm just going to use this all right so i want to remove this curtain as you can see it is very dusty i want to remove it i will wash it later and take it back and then i will also have to wash the kitchen window after i am done doing the dishes so yeah that's what i am about to do right now
So now I'm all done washing the dishes and washing the window. Right now I am washing the wall and I think that this wall has a lot of potential for makeover. I can already see a lot of storage options and that is something that I will be working on come uh, next year, early next year. Yeah, so pray for me. I will, it's a project that I'm sitting on and slowly building up to. All right, so allow me to take this opportunity to welcome all our new subscribers if you joined our channel recently thank you so much i appreciate you and i feel honored that you took time to come and you know join my family um subscribe to my channel join our membership and do the kind of support that you've been giving me through subscribing through commenting and liking my videos i totally appreciate that especially also if you take time to join the premieres whenever we do them that means quite a lot if you don't know what a premiere is it is just uh the time when we publish new videos as youtube creators and by that time we are able to watch uh the videos with our subscribers at the same time when the video is being unleashed to the public by youtube all right so be sure to always put your notification bell on whenever we have a premiere you will always get notified in your email or just a pop-up on your phone or your laptop all right so thank you so very much for that and if you would like to support this channel there are different ways that you can do that i have listed them down below uh, you can join our membership you can donate to the channel through the membership levels that we have listed and that will mean quite a lot to us we also have a super thanks button and every support you do or you give to this channel goes back goes right back into creating more content for you guys and that means really so much also assuming if you're in the premier gang and you uh you want to support as well you can click on the dollar sign and you can send a super is it a super chat yes a super chat or a super sticker and the, that will really mean a lot to me so thank you very much for being in my youtube channel that means really so much to me so as you can see this wall is turning out really clean and shiny and i think uh the refreshed look makes the kitchen look even more brighter and that is really calming to me as someone who spends most of her time here in the kitchen cooking and just preparing good meals for my family so this is really nice and i feel uh very much accomplished for washing and cleaning up this wall so next i'm going to be cleaning the cabinets and go ahead and uh, wash the floors then i'll head right outside to clean up the other uh, things that are already outside uh, but before that i will also make sure that i leave the sink very well deep clean Sugar coating everything don't make it sweet And all the time I've given up 
up, I'm taking back now. I've been spending all my hours differently. Cause it's never too late to live what you say. And I know I'll be okay. Show you, but I can guarantee you look at me and see that I'm the type of girl you're not really that used to. I'm only gonna give it to you honestly. I know this ride's taking some time, but I know I'll be okay. So I really wanted to show this to you guys. As you can see, this is the crack between my sink and my counter. Our counter is made out of tiles. Previously, it was uh, MDF uh, boards, but those MDF boards got soaked in water and our landlord decided to replace them with the tiles. I actually prefer the tiles, but now this is what happens. There is a lot of dirt buildup in the cracks between the tile and the sink, especially because it is not quite tight i don't know what can be done for this but that it is only for us to always make sure that we keep cleaning it every once in a while after the dirt builds up and or, or rather you we keep uh clean deep cleaning like weekly to make sure that 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 does not uh, build up like that over there because it can be breeding ground for you know germs bacteria and all that yeah so this is what happens when you deep clean some spaces you end up finding uh, those uh, hidden places which have a lot of dirt that you never would have imagined because on normal cases when it is dry you can't really tell but when you put after putting water and going over with a brush that's when the dirt starts coming out so this is something that I will now have to be intentional about every single week at least once a week I go in deep cleaning the sink and the cracks between the counters and the sink because dirt just uh, builds up there and if we don't take care of it it's gonna be a huge huge mess also i want to 
give a huge shout out to this brush that I'm using over here a while back I bought a lot of brushes which I'm going to review later on and this one is working magic with with reaching you know hard to reach places to remove dirt especially on the sink I'm thinking of buying a second one for the bathroom and for the bathroom sink as well so that is just something i wanted to say it's a really nice brush if you come across it make sure you get one for your house all right So right now I'm ready to wash the floors. I'm using detergent and the Safisha uh, disinfectant. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to wipe it and then go in with my brush to scrub the floors, scrub the tiles, make sure they're all spotlessly clean. Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm going to be doing right now. And then after that, I will go outside remember i have the cooker the fridge and the cupboard even some utensils are outside i need to wipe them up and also at this point time is running out so at some point i stopped recording and just put everything back in the kitchen so that i could continue the following day which was actually now on a sunday yeah but it, it all worked out well so stick around and you will be able to see that towards the end of the video
Yeah, so I have decided to rearrange the utensils and in a way that will help me minimize how much utensils I use at a go before I do dishes. Yeah, because I've realized that I always end up using up all the cups, all the plates before I do my dishes, especially because I do not have a house help. So I do, I tend to do my dishes after they have really piled up a good one in the sink. So I'm putting these cups away up in the top shelf and I'm going to be left with just a few these ones. So when I finish these ones, that will be my cue to do dishes or just make sure I do dishes. I'm planning to also be very intentional about making sure there are never dishes, never dirty dishes in the sink. Yeah, so that's one way to help me uh, manage my dirty dishes. So I'll just have these few cups here. Uh, once they are finished, then I know it is time to clean up and get things in order but i will strive i will make sure we don't get to that point okay yeah so i have the mugs and most of these mugs uh the you know the branded mugs are all are from offers and some are from gifts yeah so these are the plates that we're going to be using have the small ones and the big plates big is it platter or plates i don't know I have some extra plastic ones I will add on to that list as well so over here I have that shelf which I want to get repaired and also it will be an extra uh, it will be an extra what an extra storage for other things as well so this rack it is carrying all sorts of things there's cutex there's padlock nail cutter that's a blow dryer head we have some extra tea bags here and kids stuff yeah, so I want to clean it up, remove everything. You see, even this one, this is just a toy. Yeah, but uh, for now, what I want to do is to get rid of all this, wash the rack and repurpose it to be carrying my plastic utensils, especially the baby utensils. So the baby utensils are going to be on this rack. So I want to clean it right now, disinfect it and dry it up so that I can arrange the baby dishes on it and it will serve that purpose. For the rest of these items, I will throw away whatever is not needed and put whatever is useful in its rightful place so that we can have an organized kitchen. I have these tea bags from way back. My husband brought them and I think these are the two or three that are left. Yeah, so that's it. I want to clear this up right now. So right here I have this uh, salt shaker. I It kind of broke and I want to try and repair it, see if it can still be useful. Yeah, so I'm going to heat the knife on, on the heat. When the knife is hot, it's going to be easy to cut it smoothly and hopefully it will still work. Yeah, so here I am trying to cut the, the salt shaker using the hot knife. And it was really, uh, it was really simple to cut it. But you have to be careful because you're using a hot knife. It can easily burn you or burn someone near you. And I also kind of used uh, the most old knife that I have. You can see the handle is broken, though it worked really well. Now, what did not work was the salt shaker after, even after cutting it, because the lid did not fit on the. On this bottom part even after uh, cutting it all around because I think there's a way it is made it is supposed to be but it did not work so I'll have to throw this away I, I tried my best I did not waste <laughs> 
yeah so i'm throwing away something that is not going to work so that's it I, I just wanted to show you that part i really tried to do the diy yeah but uh it did not work sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work yeah so um that is just something do you guys ever do diys in your home like trying to repurpose things that uh, are already broken trying to reuse them in the name of trying to save i don't know what even we are trying to save but yeah that happened but um as i've told you it did not work and um i was hoping that it would help me to save some coin because now i have to buy a new salt shaker the knife is on the sink i pour i'm pouring cold water so that it can cool down it doesn't burn anyone yeah but anyway that's it uh it did not work there it goes you see it's not fitting very well it did not fit and uh it can't work this way unless i just put salt and it stays open but you know if you if you were a huge fan of sciences in school you know that you can't put salt leave it open like that it will absorb all the moisture in the air and it will be funny funny all right yeah so now i'm doing the last part of my cleaning and show you the final uh, look of the kitchen and also get to do some lunch for sunday remember this is uh, the second day of cleaning and arranging this kitchen remember we were doing a whole an entire small kitchen cleaning deep cleaning and it has been really uh, it has really been effective it has been worth it the time and uh, energy that I put into it was really worth it so I'm so glad that I got to do this with you guys if you're watching up to now I honestly have no words to tell you I'm so grateful I'm so very grateful that you took your whole almost an hour to watch this video because i know there are ads in between the video but you have come all this way watch this video up to this point and i couldn't be more honored for what you are doing for me so thank you so very much that means a lot and i really pray that god blesses you and meets you in every point of your needs may he supply you with everything that you need and i will be really you know grateful to him so this is it yeah so keep enjoying we are almost done and i hope that you have really gotten the motivation you needed to clean your home even if it's not the kitchen you can take the motivation to go clean your bathroom or your front yard or your living room backyard your bedrooms it really doesn't matter just go ahead and do something make your home beautiful and more bearable for the people who live in there all right
so this is my diy uh, holder for onions i found this mesh and i just pinned it on the wall to be holding my onions yeah and i want to make some lunch we're going to have some green bananas with some potatoes i will make it into a stew and order some chapati from a certain chapati joint here in town and i will also cook some rice for the kids so that they can uh, eat the rice with the stew from this uh this stew all right yeah so that's what you're going to have for lunch and i hope you have enjoyed the video guys if you are still here thank you so very much once again if you haven't subscribed this is the time to hit that subscribe button i will really really appreciate you and like this video leave a comment down below share me out to your network and i will really really appreciate it all right see you in my next video and thank you so much once again bye everything that brought me alive we're all like nonsense playing with the monsters they brought me alive but i know i'll live